I'm going to go over how to pay off your car faster and how to save money doing it. And by paying it off faster, you're going to be saving time. We're going to save time. We're going to save you money. I'm going to show you four different calculators. One's going to get you the true price of the car if you're just about to buy a vehicle. Then we'll use the same example through three different calculators that I've had created and I'll put links down below so you can go directly to them. I'll walk through each calculator and how it works. Now don't be put off by the fact that I'm old, bald, and ugly. I will put myself in a tiny little window in the corner of the video. And if you're laughing at that, shame on you. Then at the end of the video, I will actually show you another video I've got which goes over multiple methods and there'll be a link down below to also help you pay off a car with a credit card. You'll save money that way. To also show you that if you make some payments, extra payments to your car instead of investing, you can make, depends on the math, sometimes up to 39% on your money. Way better than the 5% or 2 that you're getting at the bank. I'll show you another method that will actually show you how to pay less than the price of the car that you bought. Sounds impossible. It's not. There's a hack for it. And the last one, I'm going to show you what millionaires do. And you'll be able to get a free car if you follow that method. Now, I always have to say this is not financial advice. I'm a big dumb animal, don't do what I do. Informational purposes only, but I'm here on this channel to help you get out of debt and help you preserve and grow your wealth. Let's get started. Let's just say you have, you have not bought a car yet. You go on and you see you want this particular Toyota truck and they say their price is $53,000. It's not the price you're gonna walk out of there paying. Let's just say that you happen to agree to that price. There's add-ons. Well, what will the actual price be before you go? I like to look at these things before I go. So we created a calculator and we're gonna start with, this page here has four calculators. We'll go one by one. The very first one is how do you find the true cost of that car? On the top of each calculator, by the way, there'll be a video. So if you wanna, you can read about it, a description explaining how to use it, or you can watch the video which just explains how the calculator works. But I'm gonna show you right here. We're going to use the same example of a $50,000 oh, it was already there. Car on each of the calculators. We're going to say that it was 60 months. You can put in any term you want. Now, the interest rate these days on a new car, I'm making this video October 2024. Middle of the road credit is about 9%. Okay. Then these are the additional things that will usually happen. They'll say maybe there's some cash incentives. Maybe you just graduated college or something. They'll give you $500. Whatever that is, you can put there if you have them. Down payment we're gonna make easy math. We're gonna say you're gonna put $1,000 down. You don't have, a, let's say you don't have a trade-in. If you did, you can put the trade-in value here. Maybe you think the car is worth 10. Did you owe money on that car? Maybe you still owe four, you'd add that there. Pick your state. The state doesn't matter as much as the sales tax does. So in, for example, Alabama, you just Google it, what's the sales tax on a new car? Happens to be about 4%. Documentation fee, we're gonna say $500. What is that? Typically they'll say, well, there's a documentation fee on the car, which will register the tags for you and do the paperwork and that sort of thing. Let's just say it's about 500 bucks. Then you can include all the fees in the loan or not. We're gonna keep the box checked. So in other words, we're gonna put $1,000 down and that's it. All the other fees go into the loan. Let's calculate it. Here's what matters. At the very top, here's your monthly payment, 1,069. The total loan amount, there was a $50,000 car, but there's sales tax of 2,000. Then you put a thousand down, so that nets a thousand, and then there's a five hundred dollar fee for the paperwork. So it's fifty one thousand five hundred total cost, cost. But you have a loan, so there's interest. This is what the interest will total up to be. These three calculators are going to attack this number. We want to decrease the interest. You got to pay the fifty thousand. Let's decrease the interest so you pay less over time. So over time, by the time you're done, at the end of 60 months, at the end of five years, you'll have paid $65,000 instead of the original 51.5 if you just bought it in cash. Then if you scroll down, it shows you how much of this payment goes to interest, how much goes to principal. It's got a graph as well. And this, I'm going to show you the amortization table because this will appear in all the calculators. It shows you month by month. This is the first month. You've got your payment of 1,069, 386 goes to interest, 683 goes to principal. Then it subtracts what goes to principal right here, and the interest and it goes down. Obviously, the interest amount goes down each month, how much is applied, and more goes to principal each month. Well, the reason is because the balance is going down. So these calculators will show you how we can attack the interest by decreasing this balance faster. By the way, 
you can come back over here and you can change any of these terms. Click calculate, it'll recalculate it for you. Okay, so now we know what it's gonna cost to walk out of there with a car. Lastly, there's a monthly payment button here because sometimes what they like to do is to negotiate a monthly payment with you instead of a car price. I suggest you don't do that, but if you want to, there's a way to do that here as well. Okay, on this list, we're gonna look at the very first scenario. That's this calculator, and that is, we'll scroll down here, go right to it, the idea of what if you could add an additional amount of money to the car payment. So you might say to yourself, you know what, what if I get rid of this particular service that I'm using, it's $100 a month, and I'm going to apply that to the car, what would that do for me? Real simple. You put in, just like the other page, $50,000 in our car example. We're using an interest rate of nine. Now, here's what's interesting. I think this is very helpful. How long is your loan term? Well, we had 60 months. Okay. But maybe it's not a brand new car. So you may have paid 12 months. So you're coming to this calculator and you're like, yeah, I got a 60-month loan, but I've already paid off 12 months. Okay. So we'll say, how many months are left? We'll say, well, 48 are left because we already paid 12. Okay. What's your additional monthly payment? We're going to say... Let's say it's $200. Somehow you came up with 200 bucks. Maybe you paid someone to cut the grass and now you're not gonna use that anymore, you're gonna do it yourself. Hit calculate. So I always put the results into words. So you don't have to look at the math down here. You can literally just read this line. You're, so it says here, you'll shorten your loan by nine months. So that means if your payment's over a thousand, in this case it'll be 1200, it was a thousand dollars plus the extra 200, 1200 a month. For nine months, you'll no longer have to make that payment. That money will be available. You're going to save $2,000 in interest by paying $1,237.92 each month instead of $1,037. So by adding $200 to your payment, you'll end up saving $2,000, which makes sense because you're not going to make that old $1,000 payment for nine months, which is over $9,000. Okay, so there you go. All you have to do is make a change. You want to make it $300 a month. Calculate, that's how much you'll save. Great. So there's the calculator that shows you if you can add additional amount of money to the payment, exactly how much you will save, and it breaks it down month by month. All right. The next two calculators. First, what if you have a one-time payment calculator? Maybe it's Christmas and someone gives you 500 bucks. Maybe you or your spouse receive a bonus and it's $5,000 at Christmas time. Great. What would you want to do with it? You might want to invest it. Put it in the bank. You might want to apply it to your car. Well, how do you know if you're going to save money on your car? Well, let's use this calculator. $50,000. It was 9%. 60 months. How many months are left? We're going to use the same example for each calculator. 48 months left. Then we go down here and it says, how much? Let's say you got a $5,000 bonus. You put it there and you say, well, what month are you going to pay it on? Well, let's say it is December. So you're going to use it right now. Month 12. Okay. Or month, let's say month 13 calculate. What's that going to do for us? All you have to do is read this line. You'll shorten your loan by six months and you'll save $1,864 in interest. So you're going to save $1,800 by putting that $5,000 into the car. So you're going to get $1,800 on $5,000. That's impressive. If you were to put $5,000 in the bank at 5%, you get what? $250 in interest? Well, you're essentially earning that and because that's what you're saving. Now, if you want to see how this works, month 12, your payment was going to be $1,029. And we said month 13, we'd put down $5,000. So here you go. Month 13 is the payment plus the $5,000. That drops your principal balance by $5,000. See, it goes from 41 to 35. That's where the savings are. That's how you're able to save an in interest. Now, if you wanted to, you could say, you know what? Maybe this summer, I'm going to have a side job. I'm going to make an extra thousand. That'll be the summer. So that'll be the 18th month. Christmas was the 12th month. June will be the 18th month. We're going to add another payment. Let's calculate. What would that do? As you scroll down here, you'll see month 18. The payment was not a thousand, but it was 2000 because you add another thousand. Now, if you go up, you're going to say, you're going to cut your loan by seven months and save 2,152. Maybe you got that 5,000 every Christmas. Maybe you did it another one. Let's just say another 5,000, say 36. And let's calculate. You add those different payments. What are you gonna save? $3,275 in 17 months. Wow, that's significant. Year and a half of less of payments. Okay, 
So that was real simple. What if you just want to add a lump sum? Now, here's the really interesting one. It took a while to do this. Velocity banking with auto loans. What does that essentially mean? Again, each one has a video describing it and explaining it. Here's what you put in. Okay, I'm going to walk through it. Again, $50,000 is a car, 9% loan, 60 months. We're going to say we have 48 left. Here's the additional payment section. This payment section was just like the other one. The other one, the additional payment just said how much and what month because it was a lump sum. This one says, well, what if you got a loan? Maybe your bank said, you know what? We'll give you a $5,000 loan. Let's say we apply it on month uh, 12. And you're going to have to pay it back in 12 months. So it's a 12-month loan. And it's going to cost you, let's say, 12%. Now, a lot of people will say, knee-jerk reaction, well, this is a 12% loan. And you're going to use it to pay off a 9% loan. That makes no sense. Well, the math works because of the term and the rate and the amount. So you have to put it in to see if it'll work for you or not. It does in this case because you're gonna pay this off in 12 months. You're not switching a nine month, a uh, 9% loan for a 12. Of course, that wouldn't make sense. But this just says, okay, the bank said, you can have a $5,000 personal loan. If you pay it off in 12 months, that's the term right here. It's a 12% interest rate. Will this save you any money or not? Let's find out. You hit calculate. Now, let me explain. It gets a little complicated here, but you just read it here. Total saved. This is the line that matters. You saved a total of $1,599. Let's call it $1,600 and six months. How? Now it tells you how. Your loan would normally have had $11,764 in interest on this loan here. But with this scenario, you're only going to pay $10,165. Okay, so that's how you save $1,600. Then it explains what happened. So on this car loan, you're applying the $5,000, but you still have to pay this one off, and it has an interest rate. So you're going to save money up here on the car, but you're going to pay interest down here on the loan. So as long as you save more than you pay, you're doing okay, and that's what happened here. Explanation. By making a lump sum payment, you saved an additional $1,600. Okay. This was calculated by subtracting the additional payment interest paid from the total savings. So we subtracted what you paid here from here, the savings. You actually saved $1,900 on your car loan. So you saved $1,900 here, but the interest on this loan was $313. So the total savings of $1,900 minus $313, you resulted in the savings of $1,600. If you wanna see the math, you simply scroll down. This is the car loan. Remember we said we already paid off part of it? $50,000, 9%, 60 months. Here's your monthly payment. This one had the car loan of 1,000 plus the 5,000 lump sum. And then every month after that was $1,000, okay? Over here, it shows you your additional payment schedule. So the personal loan of $5,000, interest rate of 12% for 12 months. So remember, you're gonna have to pay that back and it's a 12 months, so it's gonna be a $400 monthly payment. So you're gonna pay your 1,000 a month on month 13, Plus, you're going to pay this one on month 13 of 442. So, because the other calculator was a lump sum, it didn't come with loan terms, this one's a personal loan, you will have to make these payments for 12 months. So, it's 1000 plus the 440, it's $1,400. That, by doing that, you won't pay any more for the car. You're going to pay less because the interest went down. There you have it. Now, you can always add another one. It could be, what if you got another 5,000 after that and you applied it on month, it's a 12 month term, you applied it on month 24. So the bank said, you know what? You paid it back, you're a good customer, you wanna do it again? You said, uh, sure. So 12 months later, you did it again. Hit calculate. What's gonna happen? Well, now you're gonna save 2,400 in 12 months. This loan saved 3,000. This is just the explanation, you don't need to know this. The Interest paid here was 627 for a total savings of 2347 By the way, if you happen to scroll down, car loan, personal loan, you go down, second personal loan. The more you put here, the more it'll show there. Now, some of them may make sense, some may not make sense, but it does the math for you. So I hope that was helpful. Now, at the end of this video, it'll pop up here another video, which I go through on the whiteboard, and that's where I show you that you can use a credit card and save, to pay off your car loan and save money. You can make a lump sum payment and get a much better return than you would in the bank. 
That example I show gives up to 39%, depends on the numbers. Two more, the one's gonna show you how you can pay less than you owe. Remember, the calculator showed we owed $50,000. You can actually, there's a method, it's a hack where you can end up paying less than 50,000, believe it or not. Then lastly, I'm gonna show you what the rich do. And it's a method and a hack to actually get you a free car. It works, all those videos in the description down below, and if you click this video here, it walks you through each one of them like I just did with the calculators. Thank you for watching. I hope you're able to get out of debt and grow your net worth because the only way you're going to get into better financial shape is if you take control of your financial future. No one's going to do it for you. Have a great day.